I'm Courtney, and I'm crazy for meat. Mm -hmm. I'm on a quest to learn how to make the dopest, juiciest, most flavor-packed meat dishes in the country. This is the best thing I've ever eaten in my entire life. Watch as I fangirl my way into the best kitchens in America. Let's do it. I'm going to eat a lot of meat along the way, and that makes me carnivorous. Atlanta is like that party that your friend invited you, but you didn't know anyone there. But then you leave having like 14 different best friends. That's what Atlanta feels like to me. I've never had authentic soul food before. Busy Bee is like the best place to go to if you want soul food. It's been around since the 40s. Atlanta, I'm here to eat your memories. Hey, I'm at the Busy Bee Cafe, a soul food restaurant in Atlanta that lives up to its name because is busy as hell. I'm excited to get my hands on some soul food and see what the buzz is about. Is that a corny joke? Hi! Hi, Courtney. How Welcome are you? to the Busy Bee. Tell me a little bit about Busy Bee. Well, it's been in Atlanta since the late 40s. It has had three owners. My family would be the fourth, and we're committed to continuing the authentic Southern cooking that's, that's made us famous today. I'm really excited. Do you mind if I harass some of your customers and figure out what I should order? Of course. Go ahead. Cool. Cool. Stay tuned. <laughs> Whoa. I'm sorry. I'm kicking people. So it's your first time, would you approve? Oh yes, 100%, yeah. 100%. 100%. He was getting all teary-eyed, so I, don't, I, don't, I think we should zoom. He was dabbing his eyes. I was like, oh, is it spicy? And he was like, no, it's just so good. What's your favorite thing on the menu? My favorite is the fried chicken. It's just the taste, it's just so outrageous. It's just like, you tasting your own grandmother's cooking. I want to sit and hang out here with you like this though, because. You seem like you're the coolest guy around. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> when you think soul food, what do you like about it? Anytime we really throw down real soul food, it's always family. Good, nice, warm food for the soul. As your first time being here? Fantastic. You liking it? Cool. Absolutely. It's good. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm very picky about my chitlins. They gotta be right. When it comes to soul food, chitlins are it. How long have you been here? I have been here 20 years. They let you start working when you were one? That's amazing. Yeah, I kind of sort of know, just teasing. <laughs> what do you think I should try today? Um, if you've never had soul food, I would try ham hock with some collard greens and good old candy yam. Okay. Thicken you up, I guarantee you that. Do I need to be thick enough? <laughs> what does soul food mean to you? Well, for us, soul food is um, traditional cooking, African-American community, traditions that uh, carry over from slavery into um, some modern-day homes. It's comforting, it's love to them, it reminds them of a, of a time in their life where maybe their mom or their grandmom cooked. Their past and their homes and their families, but also giving them new memories. Correct. All right, so what do we have here? Chitlins, better known as hog intestines. This is a dish that people will splurge on for the holidays, for Thanksgiving and Christmas, they'll go all in on it. It's just a traditional thing that's always been in the African-American community. Right. Always eat them. Everybody, that is the main dish you have to have besides the turkey. Do you like them? <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, you're like staring at me, you're like, um. They're different. Oh. <laughs> I'm going in. I'm going in. Okay. I like them. <laughs> it's, fine. it's got like a, a bacony kind of taste. Like you left bacon in some water. <laughs> Salty, porky, some sort of a bite to it at the end. So you didn't think I was gonna like this, but I definitely do. Okay. What's next? Another pork dish. All right. Another unexpected piece of the pig, probably. <laughs> What is going on with this? Ham hocks, which are actually the pig's heel. You would normally eat this. Probably not. I wouldn't look at a pig and be like, ooh, look at the heel on that. 
don't think I'd ever look at a pig and be like, ooh, but you know what I mean. We actually season the greens with these. So you season the greens with more meat? Mm -hmm. It's the only time I think I'd ever be so down to eat some greens. Shove it on the fork. Because <laughs> I almost was like, got it. <laughs> Cheers. On top of your greens. You're like my mom, you're trying to get me to eat my vegetables. <laughs> it tastes good with the ham hock, though. Oh, yeah. It's like the pig ran around in the greens. <laughs> so good. They're smoked, so it's actually like smoked ham. So you don't need to do a lot because it already has this flavor. I can't believe I'm going in for like thirds on a, on a green. This has never happened to me. Yeah, your mom would be proud. The best way to get someone to eat their greens is to soak some meat in it. Why didn't you think of that, mom? <laughs> Where do you go when you wanna get your soul food on? You can go to Busy Bee. Uh, busy Bee. <laughs> busy, busy. Okay. That looks golden and crispy and delicious. Whoa. Yeah. Season to the bone is is yeah. very true. It's yeah. not a lie. <laughs> It's hot. I don't want to drop it. That's a showstopper. Look at that. So juicy, crunchy, salty. So I almost said you can't do it wrong. You could do it wrong, but this is very right. <laughs> <laughs> when you eat fried chicken, do you think of like a specific time in your life or like when was the first time you tried it? I think about Sunday mornings after church, my grandmother would, who brined her chicken at night, like we brine ours. And when we got out of church, that iron skillet and that chicken every Sunday. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for filling my stomach and warming my heart. I feel like I'm gonna nap. Maybe like nap that's, on you. That's southern cooking. Uh huh. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Twisted Soul Cookhouse for Porch. Today we're going to be visiting and speaking with the hottest chef in Atlanta, Chef Deborah Van Treese. She is Hey, excellent. wait she a is minute. One it's my job. Hey guys, I'm here with Chef Deborah Van Treese. She's the hottest chef in Atlanta, and she cooks real good too. We are going to go check out Twisted Soul, where she's putting her own twist on some soul food classics. So what is it about soul food that seems like it's constantly backed by a really badass, intelligent woman? We are natural nurturers. You know, I think soul food is something that is nurturing. I think that's why we women are pretty good at it. So Twisted Soul is your own twist, if you will, on soul food. Yes. You know, it's inspired by my travels. It's inspired by my life. and. Uh, I just want to bring a little bit of home to a lot of people. Well, what are we gonna be making today? Okay, so today we're gonna make the sweet tea marinated baby back ribs. Great. And then we're gonna follow that up with the pork tenderloin that's stuffed with the Cajun cornbread stuffing. Oh, inside? Inside, inside the tenderloin. Yep, we're gonna need to do that right now. Okay, Great. you ready to go? I'm so pumped. Okay, let's like roll. Let's roll okay, to the kitchen. With oh, the okay, I'll all right, let's go, you. let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so first we got our tenderloin. Taking off the excess fat, we're cutting down, straight down the middle. Okay. Then we're gonna start cutting in oh. on the sides. So once we've gotten it butterflied, we wanna thin it out some. Yeah. And we're gonna pound it out. And we're just gonna use the hammer. So food is a food with a lot of love, but... Sometimes you have to get <laughs> the aggression out, okay? You gotta get the hate out to bring the love on. We're gonna just use our blended house seasoning and soul food. We're pretty liberal with the seasoning. We're gonna add some fresh garlic to it, and then we'll start making our cornbread dressing. So we've got our butter going in the pan. Just a small amount of butter <laughs> is what she threw in there. We've got some medium heat. We're gonna add all the celery, red peppers, all the good stuff in the butter. Rosemary, sage, thyme. Hey, you're pretty good at that. Well, I just watched you, and now I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna dump my cornbread. Butter, 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 butter. That smells good. And now we're gonna take the same pan, 
And this here is andouille sausage. And then we're gonna dump that in there. I support you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Can I get a cheer? Let's go, Deborah. Do the thing with the sage, yo. Eggs, boom. Either we can work it with our hand or we can work it with a spoon. And we're gonna mix all this up. Ooh. Chicken stock, or you can buy like chicken broth. And I want it wet so that when it does cook through, it'll form, but it won't be dry. So we're gonna go down the center with the stuffing. And we're gonna come up, gonna come that way, and we're gonna roll it. We're gonna tie it, just loop it. And we're gonna tie all the stuffing up into there. Nice! All right, we're ready to saute it off. We just wanna brown it a little bit, and then we finish it in the oven. Woo! All right, let's all right. do it. Okay. We got our oil. Pan. We want to get the pan scorching hot. Little tan on the pan. Yeah, exactly. Okay? Woo! So you want to sear every side before finishing it off in the oven. Uh -huh. Oh, you're just gonna go in there with your hand. Yeah. Hello, pretty piggy. You're so nice to your food. <laughs> you have to be. I food is nice to us. I'm, I'm learning so much <laughs> about that. And stick it in the oven. I'm ready. Look what? at that loveliness. Come on, look at that. It's sexy. <laughs> sexy, sexy. It's all browned up. What's going on with the cornbread inside? We're gonna check it out and see. <gasps> and that's what we get. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks gorgeous. What are we gonna make now with these beautiful rack of ribs? We're going to make the sweet tea marinated baby back ribs. Our brine, we've got our container, we've got some tea we brewed. Good night and goodbye. So we would let this sit overnight. So let's get them out. Great, I'm gonna, this guy, woo! Get some of that, those bay leaves off. Now we're gonna rub. Now it's not a lot of salt in it. This one has a little smoked paprika, a little cumin, a little chili. So let's take it to the grill. So let's do it. Now I see why we cut it in half. It is yeah. a little, it's cute. So it's a little one. And we're just gonna put them on there. All right, so we're gonna close that baby up. Okay. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Yeah, those look pretty yummy. Yeah. Beautiful pink color. Come on. These look are that. gorgeous. And they look. say ladies can't grill. <laughs> Who says it? I, I don't speak know, to them. But they didn't meet me. And the sauce we do is a very special sauce. So this has tomatoes, cumin, chili, sweet tea, That's and right. peaches. What else are you we missing? Nothing. 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 We're missing the fact that I'm not eating this yet. Alrighty, so we are here, sitting down, getting ready to eat, and dun, 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 dun. everything you're doing here is like twisted, even down to the cocktails. Yeah, I have a twisted crew. Yeah, we have the most incredible mixologist that just drops in from time to time. She helps train our people, and she comes up with these creative twisted drinks. This is collard greens in the actual drink. Yes, it's collard green juice, green apples, an aloe liqueur. Well, I'm excited to give these a try while I stuff my face with this birthday cake tower of meat <laughs> that's in front of me. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, whoa. We're gonna give these baby back ribs a try. Sweet tea baby back marinated to the bone. Did you need a wet nap? Oh no, because okay. we're gonna keep going in on this. Order. It's got so much of a, a sweet tang to it. Mm -hmm. Like you said, way down to the bone. The kick of the spices with the sweetness of the peach and the tea. Yes, that's that rub that you put on there. My palate's going crazy. You I think did good. You did this. I did it? You did this. You helped me. A little bit. I mean, you take a bite of it and you feel like you're at a barbecue in the sunshine with people you love. And that's what we want. We do, you know, true wood charcoal. Um, do everything we can to keep it as authentic as possible. Right. But then we throw in the twist. twist. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know what you're doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, get some I'm of my greens in me there. Me too. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Well, food round two. Let's do it. We got, we got new dish and yes. some new cocktails. Yes. Go for this guy. I'm going in. Go ahead. A bite of the juiciest, most thoughtful, loving Thanksgiving in my mouth right now. The cornbread, in and of itself, is just like that kick 
of the, the sausage in there. Like arms are just wrapped Yeah, I took a bite of this and I feel like I'm being hugged. Good. Just the drizzle of that rosemary gravy on top. I am speechless. Anything Thanksgiving is real dear to my heart. You know, that's, that was our holiday. Yeah. And so I want people to feel that in this dish. I want you to feel all the love, because I mean, for me, it's like that is the holiday. I give thanks, you know? I give thanks and I'm happy, <laughs> you know? I'm literally crying. I'm like, Don't yeah. Don't cry. <laughs> Don't cry. Don't no, cry. it's, <clears throat> what the f <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, you, what, what's happening to my brain? What does soul food do to you, man? <laughs> makes you think of home, and it makes you think of those pleasant memories you have. Right. You know, gatherings, fellowship, and I think every culture has a soul food. Well, my mom wasn't this good of a cook, but you do make <laughs> me feel like it's Christmas morning, so. <laughs> Good. There's that. <laughs> For me, there's love, there's food, and it all comes together. It's fellowship. And it's like the thing that we all have in common with each other. We love to sit down and have a good meal and a good cocktail. Well, I sure as hell have enjoyed myself. Good. Everybody eats, so everyone should love while they do it. Exactly. Cheers. Cheers. Love you. Love you, too. <laughs> OK. You know when you're so full, you feel like you ate three Thanksgiving dinners? No? Yeah, it's a new feeling for me too. I'm really full. So I've learned that soul food is not just about the dishes and the recipes. It's a gesture. It's, it's letting people know that you care about them. Some chefs are looking to like impress you or show off with unique ingredients and advanced techniques, but all Tracy and Deborah really wanted to do was just feed me and show me love and make me happy. You know, I ate a lot of things today that reminded me of hugging my mom when I was scared in the middle of the night. And, you know, and made me think, hold on, I, I, gotta, I gotta do something really big. Hello? Hello, Mom. Hi. What you doing? I'm cooking. What are you cooking? I'm cooking salmon Ooh. and white asparagus. I just don't know what to do with it, so I'm Googling it. <laughs> On Genius Chicken. <laughs> <In the> kitchen. 